So I just wanted to talk about James Golding because he's my favourite driver and I don't know what everyone's favourite driver is if you've got one, but when I first got into supercars, I wanted to be a member of a team. So I looked at all the membership options and Gary Rogers Motorsport had the cheapest um, but also most bang for your buck. It's called like the Geek, um, the Geek member and you pay something like $15 or something. Um, I ended up getting more than I thought I was going to get. I got a little photo that was signed by James Moffat and Garth Tander. I decided to reward the team with the the next thing, which was a $125 full team full team member membership. He'd been in Super 2 with Gary Rogers. He'd done quite well. He'd won races. Um, one thing that uh, Gary said about James is that the guys that he was, like he was beating some of the best guys in Super 2. Well, he didn't win the championship, obviously, but he'd been a, a co-driver for the team since 2016. Uh, he had a big crash at Sandown in the Volvo. In 2017, he had a, a, a sort of a year off where he did a wild card at Winton, and uh, then him and Garth Tander got together and they came fourth at Sandown. He was good enough and they, they believed in him, so they put him in the car in 2018 in the main game. And it was a bit of a sort of a slow progress it wasn't great at start but um, I think by Townsville he was really showing that he was good he was getting good um, he was involved in a little uh, incident with Will Davison who ended up in the fence um, in a very frustrating year if you're a forward driver Bathurst came eighth with Richard Musket his former Super 2 teammate 2019 comes along out goes Garth in comes Richie Stanaway and Boost Mobile you know Jimmy had done a good job but the cars weren't quite where they were uh, had been before the teams wasn't able to develop to keep up with their rivals. Gary Rogers pulled out of supercars and uh, Jimmy was on the sidelines. Did uh, S5000 for a few years. Meanwhile, he had a co-drive for Bathurst or for the Enduros with Team 18. Um, in 2020, he was paired with Mark Winterbottom. That was the year where they started 18th and Jimmy had uh, an issue with the... Uh, for some reason, the gear selector just wouldn't work at the start of the race, and so he pretty much started from last and picked his way through, and they came they came eighth, the second time that Jimmy had come eighth at Bathurst. And so, yeah, he'd, he'd done everything he needed to do to convince Charlie that um, this was a guy worth hanging on to. 2021 didn't work out very well. He had a power steering failure at, uh, in 2021 with Scott Pye, so that was unfortunate. Why Jimmy is my favourite driver. And it's because the story of me being with Gary Rogers Motorsport and Jimmy being the last protege of Gary Rogers. So um, I'm supporting Jimmy as a way of supporting Gary, you know. This is one of Gary's best young guys coming through. And, you know, that shootout lap at Bathurst for Premier this year, that was a that was absolute proof. You know, I was watching that going, Gary would be proud. So, yeah, I was very happy to see that, how well he did in that in that lap. Premier Racing happened in 2022. Gary Jacobson got given the boot after Darwin and Jimmy was given the call up for the rest of that year. And Premier had been spending heaps of money upgrading the cars to be as top, top spec as they could possibly make them. And um, Jimmy came through and he was fast and he started to get top 10s and they had some, like, I think they had an engine failure or something at Adelaide. Um, that was really annoying because he was running in the top 10 and then the engine died on it. Uh, which seemed to happen the same thing with uh, Scott Pye. Might not have been the same issue though. Um, but yeah, Jimmy was just really good. He was in the top 10 shootout a few times. He was in the top 10 shootout at Adelaide, top 10 shootout at Gold Coast. And got confirmed... Uh, heading into the Gold Coast round, yep, he's going to be in the car in 2023, and so, yeah, and then this year hasn't been amazing for them, uh, for Premier, but, and and you would have thought that maybe they would have, but I think with the Chevy Camaro, you can't just spend money to win, you have to have a really good team, and I don't think Premier have that yet, and I think they, they, they know that, um, I don't know what the deal is with booting Matt Cook, but um, they signed Tim Slade at the end of 22, so they've got two great drivers, and um, Tim Slade's showing that he's an amazing driver, and Jimmy is showing that 
Um, you know, it, it hasn't been a great year for him because you would have hoped that Jimmy would have been better, better than Tim Slade, but it just hasn't quite happened. But they're not that far off from points, so if they have one good weekend better than your teammate, then all of a sudden you're up on the points. Um, but not as many top tens as Tim. They were a little bit disappointed after Bathurst, Jimmy and uh, Dylan O'Keefe, that they couldn't convert that P4 in qualifying to a P4 in the race or a podium. Um, but the way I saw it, hey, top 10's good. Get some good points. Um, Tim Slade didn't get top 10. Hasn't been an amazing year, and they're both confirmed for next year, so that's great. And the thing is with, with me about like saying Jimmy's my favourite driver is that it's not because I think he's the best driver um, or because of any of his on-track results. That's just a bonus. What I what I do care about is sort of the how things have evolved for me personally, having been a member at Gary Rogers Motorsport and then I was a member at Team 18 because that's where Jimmy Golding was. I'm definitely going to be buying Premier Racing merchandise and stuff. Um, and if they've got a membership program, I want to get that. It's been a little bit of a ride, that's for sure, of being with Jimmy Golding. When you're following a driver that was in the main game, then he was out, then he's back in, you've got to make things work. And so I can't imagine how frustrating it must have been in 2021 to have that that issue with Scott Pye. Not the, not the biggest fan of his hairstyles. Go Jimmy, do what you want. I met him at uh, Got a Signature. I got, I've got it in 2018, 2019, 2020. I didn't get it in 21 because it was really annoying trying to get it. It just wouldn't happen. I got it in 22 as well. Um, at Taylor Bend when I met him, had a great chat about uh, how the race went the previous day and uh, how I've been following him um, since Gary Rogers. And so he said, yeah, we've been to, been to a few teams, but uh, the, has, it's not a lot of teams. It's two and then three because you're back in the main game. But yeah, go Jimmy.